Round and round you go into my basket and pretty soon I'm gonna have my basket full of children. Then the coyote will come after me and he will not get nothing because I would have already gotten all the chiori. What it means that uh, you are supposed to get up early in the morning and you're supposed to go out there before anybody else. Maybe you're the coyote, maybe you don't get up till 10 o'clock and then you come after me and I'm already done picking the chiori. Uh, my name is Christine Johnson and I'm here out here in the mm, mountains of uh, Nordic and uh, I'm picking children. Each spring, the flower buds begin to appear on the tip of the buckthorn choil cactus throughout the Sonoran Desert. To harvest these delicious and nutritious foods, use a pair of tongs to carefully pull the buds off of the cactus. Traditionally, tongs were made from split saguaro ribs, but today, many people use metal kitchen tongs. Be sure to stand upwind to avoid getting covered with tiny thorns. Once you pick the jordan, it must be cleaned. Sift the buds across a metal screen. The small thorns will fall through the holes in the screen, leaving clean jordan. Tossing the jordan in the breeze will help give a final cleaning. The fresh buds can be boiled for an hour. Once boiled, they can be eaten or laid out in the sun for a few days to dry for later use. You try to do this every year so that them eat, they won't be upset at us because he made this for us to eat. A lot of people are out there, I hope, getting children because it's a it's a real health, healthy food for for our diet. And I know a lot of people are with diabetes and um, this is good stuff for, for them. I myself and I am a diabetic so I try to get as much as I can. So it will be my food for the year. Our elders knew Jordan is very healthy. It is low on the glycemic index and helps regulate blood sugar levels and has more calcium than milk. It is one of the desert's superfoods. I hope that um, that you're with me on this uh, picking your ear children or whatever there is out there for us to eat and um, because uh, I said earlier in there that um, there's a saying that they say that ether is going to get mad at you or get upset at you because he made it for us. And uh, look at how we are now today. We, we're not healthy because we have let those things go that is our own food. We didn't teach our children. We didn't teach our grandchildren, our uh, great-grandchildren now. And I hope that you are teaching your children to start back on this uh, path of our lives as autumn people, as our himadak, that they will learn to uh, eat these things and make their taste buds uh, accept them and and so they can be healthy and don't have to have uh, diabetes and other things that we do uh, when we um, left our foods and so um, the little blessing uh, is supposed to encourage us to uh, 
to um, go out and uh, do this and uh, be an example for for everybody, uh, not only our own people but other people. And we can share with them the things that are good for our lives.